Hey, we are live with a repeat offender on this show, and this is uh, the outlaw himself, Bobby Seale. And I forgot to say, today is National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Uh, so how appropriate that you are the guest on this know, day. What's your relationship with pirates? Well, I was named at the pirate in another life. True story. See, and I now felt that. Bobby Seale, you, knew that. you made me remember. To I say was a pirate. Like no, a pirate. Did no. you ever have a parrot? No, I never had a parrot. No, I had many fish though. I had aquariums. Uh, I was Aquarius and I had aquariums and I enjoyed that whole scene. You know. Yes. I this had, is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Yes. I've been told. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. It is. That's true. Yeah. So, um, so what brings you to the show? I know you always have an agenda. An agenda. I always have an agenda, but you know, people are on my agenda. And number one agenda is Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street. I was there. You've been a year old, right? One year, and I was down there for the anniversary. And what happened? Did they have a cake? <laughs> no, they didn't have a cake. <laughs> well, let me tell you, they had a party. They didn't have a cake? What no. is up with these folks? I have 99%. They can't afford a cake. Yeah, I understand okay. that, but, uh, you know. They always I, have food outside. But what I'm disappointed is, I have to say about John Corzine. We stole all the money out of MF Global, 1.6 billion, and the motherfucker's not going to jail. Well, of course he's a Republican. Well, whatever. <laughs> but the first thing I learned on February 5th, 1968, when I started my job on Wall Street with Good Body Company, and then I worked 35 years on Wall Street, was segregation, and that's not the black and the white. Segregation of customers' funds, segregation of customers' fully paid stock. Those rules don't seem to apply today. They don't. Of no. course they don't. Come on. You think they do? No. They never did. No. They don't. They're the cheaters that are allowed to They're cheat. The cheaters. But they get away mm. with it. It's, it's like. It's unbelievable. I know. Wow. You it's dropped wrong. your napkin. Did I drop my napkin? Yeah. Uh, uh, so, um. Oh, I have a question. Yes. What is the difference between the 99% and the 47%? I am just totally... Well, this has come about. This is a Romney thing. I don't know. I, you know... Did, did he just not know how to do the math? I don't, I'm not for Obama, but Romney does not come across. No. He just doesn't come so across. So who are you going to vote for? Oprah? I haven't voted in my life. You never did? No, I'm a pirate. I'm not, oh. I'm not born. I don't vote. No. <coughs> I haven't voted in my life, but you know. Do you think that you think that voting actually matters, or do you think they pick it? No, it doesn't matter. But you know, there's all this shit today about cheating on voting. I mean, it's all these things. I know. And, and the checks I know. and uh, flowers and cheating. Nonsense and cheating. I, I know. I can't believe this. You know, I, I I'm bewildered. Yeah, right. You are bewildered. Well, we spoke about, you know, we spoke about, a lot of people who were up here before me spoke about topics that I really uh, know, like Leslie Hoare, you know. Remember her? Yes. She's, she, what was that song, uh, You Don't Know Me? Yes. Great song. And didn't yeah. she yeah. say, it's my party and I can cry if I want to? Yeah, she can cry if I want to. Yeah. You know, my first girlfriend's name was Judy, too. Really? Yeah. Wow, you remember wow. that far back? I remember that far back. It was 1963. Do you remember how many girlfriends you've had? Uh, not all of my name, no. But by scent, yes. By I might, scent? I might remember oh, that. Hey, yo, people don't realize about me, but I'm a true Rockabilly fan. Oh, uh, I yeah. was, well, you got I, the show. I was there when it was happened, and I watched Memphis birth to rock and roll. Do you have a favorite do Rockabilly watch. band? Oh, Johnny Burnett. I love... Uh, and even guys say, I saw I, I saw some of my heroes recently, uh, Dale Watson, at uh, re recently in New York City, in Hill Country, and here's what you would not believe. I I I I've told you many times. I've met a lot of my heroes as I got older. I met a bullet, the Wonder Dog, for Roy Rogers. He was stuffed, but I was petting him. Oh stuffed. my gosh! Where but, was he stuffed? <laughs> he was in, he was sold at the uh, Sotheby's auction. Would trigger the Wonder Horse. Yeah, I always wondered about the dog. You know, I, I had a lot of Rottweilers in my life. And they were all I grew up with a Rottweiler. Did you really? I did. His name 
It was it? Brutus. Brutus? Yeah. Good name. Was that Beefcake Brutus or Brutus Beefcake? No, Brutus was my Rottweiler. Really? Yeah, he got hit by a milk truck though, so he oh was brain damaged. Uh -huh. he, and he lost one eye, but he was like permanently a puppy. Uh -huh. Because he didn't know he was the cutest thing. He thought he was a lab dog. He was wow. a freaking Rottweiler. He was the sweetest dog in the world. I loved him. Yeah, I love Rottweilers, you know. And they're really a family dog to the family. They are. Not to anybody else. Well, my Brutus was. He would run away every day and go uh -huh. to the elementary school. Uh -huh. And we would get a phone call saying, Brutus is here. He loved the kids. He would just go. Yeah. yeah. Also, my big Johnny, a lot of people don't realize this. Do you remember this. your dog's name? Yeah. Well, I can remember every dog's name. It was uh, first my dog when I was a, a kid in a crib. <laughs> you know. Uh, Brownie, and then there was uh, Cookie, you know, then there was Wags before Rags. it became popular. Wags the dog. Wags. You know? Wags. And then later on. Is the dog now? Uh, not right now because I live uh, as I live, you know. Yeah, you're a vagabond. You're a pirate. I'm a vagabond, a pirate, uh, a transit, you know. So, so what are you occupying these days? Autos. Autos, good answer. Autos and room. And, and and what are you doing as far as your Occupy Wall Street? What's on your well, little notes was, here? What do you need to say? My little notes over here, yeah. yeah. Uh, what I wanted to say is... You're uh, so prepared. Yeah, I'm saying is uh, I am disappointed that a lot of people are not going to jail on Wall Street. They yeah. deserve to be in jail. Yeah. And it's yeah. unbelievable that they're not in jail. Like John Corzine, 1.6 billion is not in jail. Uh, Martha Stewart did serve time, but I knew she was guilty because I did clear restricted stocks in my day. And I was the vice president of operations at Wall Street. And if I was, if I lost $20, dollars if I was out of 20 bucks, the firm would be all over me. Uh, come out of your bonus. So did yeah. you really do a lot of blow on Wall Street when you were there? I, I mean, didn't do no blow. But did everybody else? Ah, people did blow in the bathroom, yeah. all kinds of shit. And and they don't go to jail. Trent, you know, they had uh, prostitutes, they had limousines, they did this, they did that. As long as they brought in the buck, no one cared what they did. Exactly. But see, I didn't bring money in. I was operations, I was compliance. Ah. You know? Yeah. Nothing's and I would tell you, more. we can't do that. No. You know? So they didn't like me because I would really be on the rules. So do you think that Wall Street's ever going to have a comeback? Well, you know something? I'm going to tell you what I said when I was in the Army, and this is a true story. I was drafted in 1966, and I went to the sergeant, and the sergeant said, what do you want to be in this man's Army? And I said, you know, at that time I was like 19, and well, I want to be an MP. You know, I said, I want to be a military police MP. You know what I said? Which I want to, my new sign is going to be. I'd rather have a sister in a whorehouse than a brother as an MP. Wow. Well, now I want to say I'm going to have a sister in our house than a brother working on Wall Street. Mm. Yeah. Wow, because you've lived it. I lived it. I've done it. I've been there. So and I still love it. I, I, you know, I have dreams so every night. You're disenchanted with it, all of it. Uh huh. So what would what would enchant you? What would be your dream job if you could have it now? It wasn't the Army. It well, wasn't Wall Street. What is it? The dream job, I, I would say today, would be to work for the SEC, you know, like internal audit. That would be my dream job today. Really? Yeah, it's like the MP. If I want to be now the internal audit guy. And you think you could go unnoticed doing those things? I'd love to do that. That was my goal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you be like a spy? Yeah, a spy. So I love that. You know? So how how would you be a spy? Well, I would you know I would look into all the transactions and. Would see, it be behind scenes? Yeah, behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So can you do that? Yeah, I, could, I, I would love to do that. Can I do that how today? Do you, how I'm, do you do that? I don't think I'm going to do that now. They, they let me do that. But you know, like I said about Bullet the Wonder Dog, I met a lot of my heroes. And you know who I met recently only to speak? Who? Jesse the Body Ventura. Wow. Yeah, I went to a book signing out there in, in Queens, New York. And we, we met and we spoke and you know he said oh, yeah he said I remember you he, he had the two tone look when his day you know with the black right. the dark beard the, he's a politician now isn't he's he? a politician yeah. and I, he and he told me he says he's going to run for president you know if he can he wants to run for president for the next term after this 2016 will be 2016 wow yeah and 
Yeah, you know, he was like one of my heroes with Dave, but I'd rather, I'd rather hear would him talk. Would you vote talk. then? Would you vote then if he was running? I might if he's running. He's probably uh, the first guy I voted for since Lincoln won the war. Since Lincoln? Come Lincoln. on. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying, you know, he's you the guy. Good. You look good for your age. I am good for my age. Yeah. Right? You voted for Lincoln. How long we know each other? <laughs> you tell like me. Four or five years or something? Something like that. Something like, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You're so attractive to age or whatever. Aww. You're a doll baby. You're yeah. so nice. So I'm, a, I'm big in the Talk about the pirate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm big in doo-wops. People don't realize it, but I have a lot of uh, all the doo-wops. You should buy as a kid down here, Bleaker Street. You know, Bob's. Uh, Bleaker Bob. Bleaker Bob. I had to go in there. He knew what kind of music I like. Find flamingos, obscure songs. Should you bring them out? Yeah, yeah. And and I would buy those like for a dollar a piece. You know. And I'm very into doo-wop. Very knowledge, I'm very knowledgeable doo-wop and rockabilly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, you always would go to Rodeo Bar, right? Rodeo Bar, yeah, and Hill Country in New York City, and uh, Dwight Yoakam, uh, David Allen Poe concerts in Brooklyn, Hank Three, Hank Williams the Third, I've yeah. been him too. Have you, you seen know. Ask Jack? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jack Music. Yeah, because yeah. Hank the Third, my yeah. friend toured with him, and um, uh -huh. yeah, one of my skeletons is. I've stolen an Ask Jack t-shirt. Oh, there you go. I did, I did. Well, I want one of your t-shirts. What's your skeleton today? I got one. That's, well, I did. I'll tell you something. Ask Jack I'm going to tell you a story about, uh, let me bring the year back, about 1956. You know, see, if you're rockabilly, you don't say 1956. You say 1956, you know. Like Elvis? Like Elvis. And you know what I'm You want me to go and say, come on, baby. I won't tell you to call my boss. You didn't understand that. I said, come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh. You know. A mouthful of marbles. Is that like a pirate? No, it's like Elvis. That's either Galvis. That's my Elvis. Uh, what night were you on? Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, <laughs> Miss, the skeleton of the club. Yes. All right, this is Miss Dames. It was 1956. I was about oh, eight, nine years old then, okay? And this is public school, PS 143, if you're listening out there. I love New York, PS. She, she, would in his elementary school, and if you were talking and doing something, it was always punishment, homework today, you know, we can't do that. But she would sit me under her desk. Oh, and I was there's no way to be to look, but you know, upper panties, upper panties. Oh. She had to have used French descent, you know, because Stella's names and uh, PS 143, and, and all I could look was like, you know, so Did that, she that's know? Like, I don't know, but I was like, uh. Why did so she put she, you under her desk? Well, she only did. She didn't only do it with me. She did only do this with boys. Did she only do it with the boys. That's what I was gonna say. Not girls, but she did it with she boys. Knew. She knew exactly. You would say, Whoa! Under the teacher's desk. Did she permanently damage a whole flock of children? Well, I don't think no, she damaged me. I think she gave me a, a little insight, huh? Uh, <laughs> a little insight. A little insight. Life. Wow, she was French. Yeah. She was French. Did she have an no, accent? No, but she wore French panties, and sometimes you could see a little, you know. And she didn't shave either. Oh, I don't know if you're fine. Not like it both ways, but you know. Uh, what, what was her name again? Stella Zane, Z A M E S. You're busted. She's like 90. She's busted, like 90. I bet she's all today. I bet she's Probably not wearing her panties, doesn't know who she is. Or, yeah, we gotta get her on. Exactly. We'll have a butterscotch for that. I'll have a butterscotch. What is this? It's today's National Butterscotch Pudding Day. Pudding Day. We didn't get the pudding. We just got the butterscotch. Let me ask him a question. What's that? You have amazing rings. Oh wait. Which one is your favorite and why? Oh man, I gotta fix the computer. So sorry, guys. Oh, we all have always when you're on. Yeah, I mean, every time. Yeah, it's because the vods are so thick. Strong, yes. But all these red cables are safe. We have another one. When we go back on, we then want to hear too. I love it. I got more of that. It just did. 